What's up, wonderful people? It's your girl, Ora Madoni, with yet another new video. For the new subscribers, I love you so much. And for the returning subscribers, I also so love you so much. So anyway, guys, today I'm so excited. Thank you for the 500 subscribers, road to 1,000. Anyway, so today I have prepared you a nice, nice guest, guest artist. You have seen him from TV, heard him from radio. He has had one of the biggest shows in Kenya. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to talk too much. You're going to see him and he's going to tell us his story, his journey, and where he began from. So watch till the end of the video. Love you guys. What's up, guys? So I'm back again. I'm artist and guest. Sasa? Anna. Yeah, mm, by default, I'm VDJ Miki. Mm -hmm. I'm the youngest uh, Africa's mogul. That's my name. Africa's mogul. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, young mogul. Young mogul. Young mogul. So. Not mo mogul. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a mogul. And why the name? Because I'm a mogul. <laughs> what does it mean? A mogul uh, is someone who's uh, kama kwa biashara, mm -hmm. let's assume someone like uh, the late Chris Kirubi, he's yes. a business mogul. Mm -hmm. He's someone who has achieved a lot of things over time. Mm -hmm. So he believed I've achieved my career, which as per now in Anilisha Vizuri, hey. uh, to different levels. So you think I'm a mogul. That's why I call myself a young mogul, because I believe every day is a learning process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe tell us how you started your background, high school, primary. Many belega mali. Nilianza, hey kuanza. So I'm I'm a Meru. I was born in Meru. No, I was born in Nairobi. Grew up in Meru, but by default I'm a Meru. Mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, in primary, ni me kwanga tu chukra boys boarding. High school, I went to Kiriani boys. Campus life. The default Judia boys, but one word Judia boys, <laughs> so I, I and since then that's necessary. That has been my school life, yeah, because you make a ray for Niger Kua Fupi 844 system. Sign us Kakuna CBC, miss you are CBC when you are CBC. I'm not 844, me are the old generation, yeah, but I'm not when you are CBC. So anyway, uh Apple Juja Boys when you mesema, did you study as in which course do you fanya say career yako? In Juja Boys Kwanza ni lipita vizuri. Mm -hmm. I passed well in my KCSE. And then um say say na za sema. Eh. Na taka kunyaka kwa fix. Okay, I did IT. Usiniulize nilipata nini? Mimi usiniulize nilipata nini? But I did IT. I passed well. And it's neither same. It's not my career mm -hmm. because right now my career is I'm a DJ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When did you discover you have this passion for music? Because you did IT, and maybe later after college, that's when you discovered you love music. I would say I didn't discover I love music in your college. Mm -hmm. discover I love music in your. I think from two. That was in the year two eight. So that's when I started the like kile passion ya muziki kidogo nikiwa kwa nyumba nilikuwa nasikiliza ngoma actually my cousin alikuwa anapenda reggae hiyo time kulikuwa na Metro FM mm -hmm. so hiyo time si tulikuwa ulipata Metro FM wewe eh nilipata nilipata huko ulipata huko sio ulipata Metro FM mimi ni nakwambia mimi ni mimi old generation okay 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 so hiyo time ya Metro FM so we used to love like I, for me I used to love music so that's when my like passion ya music ikakam kulikuwa na the beats ilikuwa inakam hiyo time kwa TV. So I like nilikuwa tu msoa mziki mziki nikaanza ku buy CD kidogo kidogo tunaanza ku watch kidogo kidogo pale mnaanza ku cram zile ma relics kidogo kidogo and then nikakuja ku discover ah I can mix two songs mm -hmm. even to ile like unaona tu mse YouTube because by then YouTube wasn't all that big by then but nilikuwa tu ile tu out of nowhere when you naingia Facebook una click two button na kupeleka YouTube yeah. when you were like okay eh yeah, umse ameingisha hizi hizo ngoma mbili so mimi naweza fanya hivyo Nikaenda pale nika nika try ku reason out amefanya aje ametumia software gani so my interest in DJing that's when it started because now currently I'm a DJ so hiyo interest ilianza hapo so nika download software ya virtual DJ 
nikiwa pale kwa hao mzae na maadhi wana watch news mm-hmm. eh hey, mimi kwa background <laughs> na remix ya news wanasikia tu kwa ngoma ni but but ilikuwa tu naweza sema ilikuwa the teenage thing by then eh juu ilikuwa penda tu unajua sisi tulikuwa tunaeka speaker kwa kimtungi uli aka speaker kwa mtungi eh hapana ah wewe unaona sasa mimi mimi sisi tulikuwa tunaeka speaker kwa mtungi tunaeka chini ya bed twitter tu mao eh alafu eh tulikuwa sikia tu nilikuwa enjoy tu music by then so ilikuwa tu pole 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 nikamaliza nikamaliza high school but before then DJ Sadik and DJ Mo they came into our school form 4 hiyo time tulikuwa na mabash za ma form 4 sijui can challenge hizo unakumbuka hizo ama mkufanya hata weekend challenge nilikuwa tunafanya oh mlikuwa unajua mimi mimi nafikiri ni wa CBC <laughs> but anyway hiyo hiyo time ya weekend challenge so wani come eh nikaangalia so they used to have equipment so niko like okay it's interesting now i've gotten to see what i saw on youtube kwa msee mmoja but sasa kuafikia unajua pia msee alikuwa na ile uoga unaweza fikia DJ Mu unaweza fikia DJ Sadiq it was so hard by the eh alafu hiyo time tulikuwa anga na captain mwingine crazy hizo decks ziliachwa tu hapo hivi akaika security hawezi guza hawezi chungulia but niko like it's okay so nikachungulia nikasema one day one time i'll own them not knowing that now that's the day like naweza sema career yangu sasa ilianza ku kick in because hata nikifanya tu KCSE nilikuwa nafikiria hey, nikitoka hapa nikimaliza tu hivi the first thing naenda tu ni download sasa virtual DJ sijui version gani niingie hapo nianze tu ku DJ ni mix nifanye korogosho zote but now after campus kale after high school before mtu msende campus kale ka period ka 3 4 months hapo ndio sasa nilianza sasa ku practice ku DJ for like back in the house natoka hapo naenda to shows to clubs kidogo kidogo naenda naangalia wasee wanafanyaje as pole pole it was like it was a step by step process so you didn't have to go to dj school no me, me i never went to dj school me it's youtube actually ndio nimefanya hivi youtube is what that has made me grow yeah so how did you discover maybe unanza ulisellage music yako maybe kwa wa fans because it's hard as an upcoming dj back then how did you market yourself market ni sasa okay ni when you saw after your process yet eh, i came i joined uh, campus mm-hmm. campus it was life was so different and it was so crazy but now mimi nilikuwa nilikuwa mimi nilikuwa msesa wa muziki sasa kabisa mm-hmm. so nilikuwa nikaanza kuona eh hey, do ndazi na happen acha sasa na ile ile jam session ile zile tulikuwa tunaenda tunali si tulikuwa tunalipa 20 but jam session kwa nilipa how much free free <laughs> uh, madame ilikuwa free oh baby baby <laughs> dema dema eh nilikuwa na privilege eh hey, mimi si tulikuwa tunalipa 20 bob na hiyo 20 bob nilikuwa na time madhe ama mzaa eh nilikuwa na time on a tuesday mm-hmm. wanipatie chwani so najua wakinipatia 50 bob ni ama niende ni buy mkate by then mkate ilikuwa i think around 30 30 or so wewe unajua umepata ikiwa 50 ama 55 so na naika ka 5 bob ka 10 bob ikifika sunday nilikuwa na 20 bob ba mimi nichaingia pale eh na tunaka hapo tu nyume ya dj and then i used also i also used to be a dancer by then so when nili join campus that's when now i started discovering like kuna kwanga na other different radio stations i started now listening to them still nikifanya ile just the crazy thing ku mix ya wase kwetu tu tulikuwa tuna ile place yenye nilikuwa nakaa ilikuwa just a ka building ka apartment wasi walikuwa nafua sato so mimi na mimi nikakuwa mjanja mimi nilikuwa mimi eh, nilianza biashara mimi nilikuwa mjanja so what i used to do nilikuwa naambiwa sasa ni aje ah mnafua saa basi mimi natoa speaker zangu nje nje ya mlango mm-hmm. na wa mixia kutoka ile time wanaanza kufua hadi wamalize but now the deal was hata wanifulie ngo Eh hey, sasa ulikuwa umeanza biashara. Ah, <laughs> definitely ama kama si hivi. Ah mimi eh kufua nguo ilikuwa ngumu kidogo. I used to do once in a while ama tena naita mama wa kufua nguo. Mm-hmm. Eh hey, na mixi wa si hapo. Msemu a guy story sa ujina alikuwa anaitwa Stan. Stan he used to be my neighbor. Alikama ananiambia, "Eh hey, miki na hii kitu mazi. Hii kitu umeingia deep into it. Si u, si ujaribu tu like start marketing yourself. Anza fanya ngo like okay, um sana niambia nikasema it's okay. Out of nowhere nikasikiza Capital FM. Mm-hmm. And then I came to learn about DJ Joe. Mm-hmm. Nikamsikiza nikaona okay, this guy is doing something yenye mimi mwenyewe ningetaka kufanya. Mm-hmm. And his style of playing is what I love. Ni kidogo kidogo nikaanza kuona kina DJ Kim, akina DJ Bash. Eh niko like okay. It's interesting. So now I started studying them. What are they doing that I'm not doing? Kumbuka mimi kwa nyumba sina kitu yote. Hauna equipment sasa. Hata sijui hata hata siko najua hata software ya ku DJ msana nzaje or kinyumsi. Yaani I didn't know anything. 
nilikuwa like then one day nika slide into one of the DMs mm-hmm. za Oma DJ eh mimi nataka kwanza ku DJ but i have this passion i'm using a virtual DJ mna buy ngi wapi hizo equipments mm-hmm. akaniambia okay equipments it's very good that you are passionate and i love that umeniuliza but now unatakaje how much do you have nikamwambia mimi mimi niko na kitu labda uniambi equipments zako ni kama how much akaniambia hizi ni around kitu maybe 500 600 ni commute mm-hmm. si ku reply text 600 shilling 600000 600k 600k so ni wala eh mimi ni mtoto wa campus na toa wapi nikarudi tena after week niaje eh mazi naweza toa wapi kitu less mm-hmm. but the same same akaniambia sasa kuna vitu zinaitangwa controllers mm-hmm. so ni kwa like hizi controllers eh, naweza fanyaje naweza zipata wapi kidogo kidogo out of nowhere nikatumwa credible sounds mm-hmm. so that's where now nilienda na almost if it was 28000 nili save for four years. Hey, four years. So, Unaweza imagine hiyo period yote mazee ni kwa kampu mazee nafikiria it nikadogo hivi mm-hmm. up to leo mm-hmm. niko nayo sijoi tupa wow. 28000. So nilienda nikabai and then now I started. Mimi nikarudi tu bado kwa YouTube yangu sasa. Mm-hmm. Pale YouTube YouTube nikaanza kuingia YouTube nikirecord ama na download video na eka kando na mimi side nyingine kando. But si YouTube bwana kuangalia se na issues na copyrights. Haiko inakusumbua. No, what what I used to do eh? I used to download the videos the other DJs. Them mm-hmm. same same kama DJ Angelo, mm-hmm. kuna DJ TLM. Mm-hmm. They, they always do uh, YouTube videos eh? mm-hmm. out there. So mimi niko like ah, I'll still do something but me I never uploaded any video on YouTube. Actually siko najua kutumia YouTube. Mimi mm-hmm. siko najua bed. Nilikuwa naona ah hii kitu aitwa hii nisaidia but ili nisaidia ku learn so for me is to download videos watch what they are doing and then now i start doing wakifanya nafanya wakifanya nafanya and then out of nowhere that's when now i started nikaanza a small journey i met a guy tulikuwa kwa matatu kwa nimetulia tu alikuwa anaitwa Steve i'll never forget Steve Bambika so huyo jamaa kumbe tulikuwa na yeye Jay Kwata Juja Boys <laughs> tulikuwa na yeye Juja Boys so used to be a DJ na mimi wewe mikiwa yesi nilikuwa cha Juja bado una DJ ingi nikamwambia eh yeah. ah mimi hata nilifungua academy niko like mm, okay huko na nini huko na zile kitu ya kwanza huko na zile machine kubwa eh yeah. ah nikamwambia nitakuja huyo jamaa kaje hii ni nyang'ao hii na kuja tu ku enjoy hapa so for me i'm like it's okay kuenda akaniambia sasa mimi sina shida you want to practice because now I, I knew one day one time now I know to do it as a profession mm-hmm. and I'm now for you to do this eh lazima unipatie to chums kidogo juu na kula time ya student wangu nikamwambia mm-hmm. it's okay nikamkanja kado kidogo mimi nilikuwa naenda msa wa mwisho na ka laptop kangu na eka hapo youtube nafanya ma vitu zangu ukijana niangalia hivi anambia one day one time you will be something big pole pole to of nowhere kajani tu kaanza tu step by step step by step step by step and that's how nilianza tu kuingia sa into the djing career because now i used to meet other djs upcoming djs veteran djs au ma dj legend i used to learn a thing or two kutoka kwa because for me right now i know you you've been performing in media stations how did you get yourself there <laughs> it's been a journey 8 years ndio niweze kuingia kwa media station because eh jani yangu ime, imekuwa imekuwa na ups and downs imekuwa crazy actually even kwanza kunusi ya media station mm-hmm. ilikuwa anga too crazy because by then nikiwa kwa ile studio ule ule, ule best yangu Steve eh? mm-hmm. yule studio yake inaitwa Bambika hadi wa leo yuko bado yuko hapo tu tawa hapo chini ya i think LPD mm-hmm. LPD lounge ilikuwa anga iko hapo tu bado so nikiwa hapo uh, now another guy I really respect him so much. He's my best friend, he's my brother. Yaani ni mse sasa anaweza sema tumegrow na yeye apart from DJ tumegrow na yeye pia personally. Anaitwa DJ Relance. Huyu mse alikama kaniambia ni aje miki. Eh wewe huyu na kasku moja utakuwa msembiki. Kwa hiyo kumbuka mimi naishi mahali huko Hunters nisha majuja boys nisha ingia Hunters huko Mwiki 017B. Siku moja niko kwa basi nikamu atumeka hapa moja. Mimi naangalia tu profile yake ya Instagram. Kumbe huyu jamaa pia anaangalia profile yangu. Mnastokiana. Lakini sasa the, the funny thing si kwa nimeangalia kando nikaona ni yeye. Mm. Like kufika kidogo kidogo kwa like ngoja si huyu ni wewe. Mm. Kwa like ah sasa nilikuwa nishatoka kuona hapa tu saa hii. Kwa like ah so that's how our friendship. Akaniambia the we have a DJ unit inaitwa Bugika Entertainment. This is what we do. And then kasema let me give it a try. Now I joined Bugika Entertainment. Now from Bugika Entertainment for me kitu moja na, na in my life is 
I never take any opportunity for granted. Hiyo opportunity yenye nilipatiwa ya kuingia hiyo bugika, use it, niliutilize to my level best because nilijua one day one time I'll need whatever nimelearn from hiyo bugika. The same same way ni utilize the YouTube time. So pole pole mimi nikaingia tu huko, nikafanya tu vitu zangu, wakaanza saa kunigroisha, wakaanza ku kwa like used to go for guest DJs on Capital FM. Sasa imagine hey, kwanza unaweza imagine Joe alikuwa anacheza Wednesday morning I never forget I used to get so excited to play on a Thursday morning because nilikuwa nilikuwa mjawa nilikuwa msikiza basically nilikuwa msikiza because up to date he still he still someone I look up to even I used to listen even up to now I listen like kama wase kama akina Bash best yangu sana Kim Nick D entertainment akina Mo Rafest aso reggae yani for me naweza sema my journey in Intel all those DJs getting into the media it's i got into the media now through bugika entertainment mm-hmm. because now jani yangu ilianza capital fm nikarudi nikaingia meru fm mm-hmm. now meru fm because actually ilikuwa kwanza tulikuwa tunaisikiza meru sana meru fm since then nika nikapenya k24 now k24 now nikaanza kuonekana kwa screen ktn nilikuwa naoneka eh nilikuwa na kucheza ktn nilikuwa na bambika me i used to just play now i didn't know now how to make money you see now that was the problem mm-hmm. playing ilikuwa fun eh nikarudi tena drawing board eh ni aje by the way na ni ana nataka tu kujua how to make cash out of dj so nikaanza kuambia sasa when you end up you grow how you grow with your media presence and everything kila kitu sasa start monetizing yourself kama vile sasa youtube ilikuja kusaidia wase go like okay how do i monetize myself you have this i have this twende kazi and that's how now nikaanza sasa kuingia sa media industry pole pole na maybe you tell me which type of music ama which type of dj are you a gospel do you find kuna different categories of dj ni sawa jua mali unataka eh eh jambe labda we ni gospel ama we ni voice me for me ama ama dj huwa si bagui kama ni gospel ama secular but most of the time utanipata kwa secular Mm-hmm. lakini still i do play gospel music for me music is music so long as it's good for the soul mm-hmm. yeah like nikikuchezea niki gospel feel uko sawa mimi nita, nita play nikikuchezea secular feel uko sawa mimi nita play but mostly naweza sema 95 90% nita, nita, niko secular side ni sasa like umekuwa na the greatest achievement you may perform wapi maybe unaona kama kuna kuangana events kama hizi za album launch have you ever had such an experience kufanya ku play DJ na concert hey, hey, kwanza my, my first gig was in 20 hey, 20 2015 kwani mbali hivyo kumbuki 2015 December 25th hiyo time siku endanga home. Unajua no, 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 Chris nafika ngala home. Uh-huh. So that uh, my first ile za my first official gig because nikiwa bugika yes we used to do gigs tulikuwa tunacheza anga pale Pasha. Sasa hii imechange. Tulikuwa ilikuwa anga pale TRM. Sasa hii imechange to a different club. Now we used to play there. Now from there my first gig nilienda anga 25th. So isa ilikuwa 25th nilienda anga Mombasa. Hiyo time tulienda anga tukiwa Mimi, CNG and a lady by the name DJ Donna V very good friends sasa hiyo ndio ilikuwa my first gig naweza sema ilikuwa my first gig so nili play eh nimefika pale nimecheza eh lakini mazi wale watu tunachezea ni watu wa Mombasa kumbe watu wa Mombasa wanataka pole pole hawataki haraka wale watu ni kujikokota kaangalia hapa nikashindwa hapa jameni eh mzee mmoja akakuja akaniambia sasa hii kijana na hizi vitu na hizi haraka haraka zako uta sustain kweli nasema it's okay It was disappointing but it was more of a learning lesson because even the DJs when you tulipo na your time akina CMG akina Dona V we learned a lot mm-hmm. and up to date vitu zenye tulilearn kwa hiyo gig ndizo sasa hii zimetujenga to mm-hmm. the people that we are today I'm the person that I am today mm. so uh umepata challenges gani so far kunja it's not been easy as you have told us mm-hmm. So maybe you can tell people the challenges you have faced as a DJ. Hey, hey, challenges ni mingi. Naweza sema challenges ni mingi because kitu ya kwanza for me buying equipments mm-hmm. was hectic. 
kumbuka nikikurudisha back then eh, mm-hmm. wenye tulikuwa tumebonga alia nilikwambia nili saving 28000 for 4 years for 4 years hiyo <laughs> time kwanza nilikuwa niliko nimefanya IT nikiwa mm-hmm. jekwa wenye nili graduate nikaenda kufanya job na Clinton Health Foundation kuingia pale salo ilikuwa po mm-hmm. yai kwa mbaya ilikuwa fit it was everything at least tunaweza fanya 1 2 but now in my mind nilikuwa nasema one day zile mashini zenye niliona kina DJ Muna Sadiko alikuja nazo high school I'll own them so I started saving eh naenda naulizia unaenda please unaambiwa eh hapa lazima uko na kitu kama 300 for eh for like Giovanni hizi nitaweza but nikasema it's okay I won't give up so within a year because nilikuwa job within a year nikapata at least some equivalent amount nikaenda nikabai nikasikia mse fulani anauza second hand nikasema it's okay it's good for a start nikabai ngi second hand nikaeka kwa nyumba sasa kale kadogo nikashinda nikauze nisikauze nikasema acha nikaweke nitakumbuka nikaiweka so now i started reducing now equipment is kubwa getting that equipment is the it was the first challenge the other challenge sasa ni kuji express outside to RP unajua ukiambia mse mini DJ mtaa mm-hmm. angalia tu hivi sasa wewe kitu ya kwanza akikuangalia tu hivi asha asha curate differently mm-hmm. asha jua hivi huyu mse ako associated na group fulani ama huyu mse ako associated na group fulani kutoa mentality ya huyu mse kuku accept kama DJ imekuwa hard like sahi wambie, kama sahi, for example like right now the day that i told my mama i'm doing dj aliangalia mm-hmm. akawa mgoroki wewe uma toka wazimu ati dj dj ni nini nikamwambia mama mam, ni kucheza muziki muziki gani wewe ngamwambia hapana mama but it, it's okay kaniambia no mimi kazi nilikusomesha uende kazi ukichia maliza kazi upate job hizo zote and go like okay mam, ni sawa sawa it's okay so before accept because the best thing unaweza kuwa na support ya ma fans yes. kama wewe ama msana anaweza ku support in everything that you do but without the support of the parents mm-hmm. itakuanga hard so first i know nikajua hey lazima ni convince ma pero mazee hii job ni muhimu mm-hmm. sasa ndio ni wa convince lazima ni waambie yenyewe dj napata napata do so mimi nilianza kwenda ma gigs nikaenda ma gigs nikaanza kupata do eh hey, naona okay okay kakachun kanaingia like ni kipia okay haya so now started looking now looking for gigs like events and everything getting those connections it's a challenge ili mekuanga challenge naweza sema hiyo period venye nili join bugika at least having a management mm-hmm. may me help to grow ku, even to get these gigs in accelerate at unazipata haraka sana rather than nikiwa solo Mm-hmm. So Nikalan at the back of my mind I have to have a management team behind ndio niweze ku fast track everything maybe stories of patado pata gigs maybe acceleration how, ex- how to express yourself to people into the like to the outside world Ivo naweza sema naweza sema machal nyingine kwenda kwa club <laughs> Club imefanya nini tena Ndio kwa clubs definitely unaelewa scene ya club mazi yeah, yeah. una unapata hiyo tena mimi ni bachala hiyo tena mimi nilikuwa nika bachala kabaka bachala pale pale kwangu kijangu pale kule hunters mazee unaenda unaangalia una unaangalia mamororo tu unaangalia tu kwa like ni ngoma utacheza una unachungulia dishingo inavunjika but with time you i had to learn the act of you have to be disciplined in every job because kuna mse moja aliniambia nga miki usi, don't think how my demon you know kwa club work you dressed maybe in short skirts ama in whatever attire ni the same same people utapata nao kwa job na still wako kwa job bado mdozi anachungulia ama mtu fulani ama gatekeeper anybody see so but it doesn't mean that at kwa club ndio vitu zina happening hata huko nje ni kwa like huyu mse ameniambiaje so i had to learn ile act ya nikienda kwa club nimeenda kwa ofisi kuna time hadi mimi dress up hadi suit naenda job. Yaani mzao like are you crazy? But out of nowhere when you una dress up you feel good even when you dress up in a suit mm-hmm. and playing. Yeah. So I'm like I think I want this guy the next time. I think I want this guy because now you act yourself discipline in a put a lot of different things. So there's some isn't these are the main challenges in my face. There's some Have you ever thought maybe of going international or have you had a uh, chance to do with international people DJs maybe uh, Internationally ni me ni me I'm I'm thinking and and as I say money on the road because the first day I I played at uh, my CrossFit kuna mse anitangwa DJ CrossFit I appreciate him so much alinipatia chance kucheza pale 10 over 10 
kucheza 10 over 10 nilicheza kama this friday and then nikaambiwa hapana dosi amesema urudi tena urudi tena ucheze utu confirm karudi tena kidogo kidogo nikaambiwa sasa si unaweza shikilia siku kadhaa kidogo kidogo you see i'm gonna like it's okay no i know i took that opportunity nikajua then mse mmoja akaniambia for you now to be to be international now you have to know how to use media to push to accelerate your international dream so nikaanza kuna msanii anaitwa Willis Bazu best yangu pala eh was Willis hey bro hey one day one time i hope niombe sana because the surprise that i'll give you itakuwa hey tutasimamisha dunia but mad respect to that guy because he started a show at uh, hot 96 na itwa rhythm junction na then kaangalia msikiza tu nilikuwa nikikuja tena over tena muuliza eh bro ni aje si unipatie ka chance ni kucheze na niambia kijana tulia kijana tulia uko like bro i have these ideas akaniambia you may have all the ideas but executing them uh-huh. itakuwa challenge na so, nikamuuliza eh hey, bro unaniambia aje just wait your time is coming out of nowhere one day alinipigia anga sito isa ilikuwa first june it was on madaraka 2016 kijana si umetawani kucheza by 10 am uko umefika royal media services unajua iko wapi eh denis street road sawa mimi huyo teke teke haya uko na nini na nini anza kucheza ni like okay bro yani ulikuwa all that serious nika play and then mdosi akasema eh huyu jamaa si akuje next friday tena the same same way venye happened ten over ten mm-hmm. ah si umsee sasa basi wacha kuna cheza friday and i'm like okay that's awesome and kanza ni kanza nikambia god thanks my dear santi then out of nowhere i started realizing that my my fan my fan base inaanza ku grow differently now shows zikaanza sa kwa mom on the station now like kama say currently i have four shows in a mm-hmm. week like i have monday and friday with still on raw media or yes, other no, different stations uh, hot 96 okay. it's always my home as yeah. hot 96 any okay as much as ne, my my dream is that amani kuingia hot 97 it's an international radio but hot 96 will be my mother naweza sema my mother station no no so like mondays and fridays i'm always there from 10 to 1 tuesdays na kwanga pale with jeff each and every morning from 6 to 10 wednesdays na kwanga pale na igunza and bensu from 3 pm to 7 pm and then i also go i also play like on 10 over 10 i also play on level up fridays big shout out to dj roy t boy bishti yangu sana yani naweza sema wale wase nime meet up or many or many say they can accelerate to be who i am today going international dream iko naweza sema the dream is there because i've i've been reaching artists outside ni aje nitumie ngoma mimi ucheza anga hot ni nini na wauliza ni aje by the way uko nje kukoaje ni link up na DJs i have i have naweza sema i have i have a lot of swizi wataja mm-hmm. swizi wataja wengi kwa sababu unaweza shuku lakini niko nao kwa simu hapana <laughs> sisi shuku ni sawa we know we believe unaweza <laughs> shuku but i have i have interaction with martin garrix uh-huh. we've been talking actually via twitter mm-hmm. umse ule mse wa edm Mm-hmm. Shockingly actually is the one who DM'd like Ali DM to Twitter so I'm like okay DJ Neptune wa Nigeria yeah, I'll shout out to him Romy Jones official DJ wa Safi I'll shout out to him I have a, kuna Lady Style I played at a gig actually with DJ Lady Style mm-hmm. tukiwa na Jung Falme ile kwa ngaya dress and I'm like hey are you English mm-hmm. but alikuwa na manager at least alikuwa anisaidia ku translate and the lady is like it's okay I want to make my clips niaje this is what I'm doing na try kumtumia na niambia keep on keep on pushing one day so I believe with a network is what itakupanua utoke nje because I, I believe my dream to be international is still there and even you my fans we ngoja kwanza Hey, are you following me DJ Vicky? Yes, of course. I sure. I follow you. Yes. To confirm. Yes, to confirm. Like ni sisi sai. Yeah, but when ne, neza sema na support ya my fans and even other DJs both locally and internationally, all the friends and artists when you are still local and international. Wana ni saidia tu because I believe one day I'll tasimamisha dunia mzima. Hopefully. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Definitely. Because I actually wanna be the next DJ Khalid. Yes, I love yes, that guy yes. So, much. Yeah. so maybe you can tell us while winding up uh, advice to people who are looking up to you cuz najua uko na my fans wanaona maybe it's been easy just a word of encouragement and advice. Mm. 
First of all, my first advice to everybody is stay away from Thay. Do you know what Thay means? No, tell us. You, you, don't, know, you don't know what Thay means? Tell us. <laughs> For me, Thay, kama sayi ora ni ule mse mwenye ataki kukwono ki interview DJ Miki. Mm-hmm. Ni ule mse mwenye sayi ya kisikia umepanda mat, anakuombe yo mati anguke. Ni ule mse ya kisikia maybe ume, umepata ganji yako kama thawa, anataka kuja, atumiyo thawa yishe. Thay is someone who doesn't want to see you win anataka tu kuona on the losing side so the first thing stay away from those people mi hata ukuje ni kuone mi uko hapa mi even i have branded t-shirts like stay away from them because i believe once you stay away from negative people everything positive will come like always be, like all just vibe good vibes the other thing just have discipline kuona discipline in everything that you do be positive work hard usi give up it may be rough but there is light at the end of the tunnel. Hata kama yango ijafika, hata it may be yenu itafika. So don't give up. Mm. I have this question. Nisiji kama utanijibu bizu ni nataka. Kumekuwa na issue ati ma DJ wa Kenya hawa play ngoma za Kenya. Mnapenda kucheza kama Nigeria, international. Lakini unapata in one hour unacheza ngoma tatu mbili za Kenya. Are you that kind of person? Am I that kind of DJ or what can you have? What can you say about that? Unakumbuka tukianza nilikuwa kuna time uliniuliza na kuanga DJ mimi ucheza ngoma gani? Either gospel or secular. Nikakwambia for me I always play music that is good for the soul. So if today okay, kwanza unapenda ngoma gani? Mimi zote, zote. So, 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 yeah. For me I'll play for you all those songs. Unajua mm-hmm. okay, Kenya yes, we have to support our local artist wa local lakini unaona wanalalamika ati ya no, mtuchezi ngoma zetu wanawa DM hapo can i show you one thing yes. mimi actually i have a poster like na new posting every time even on my socials niaje if you are an artist out there send me your musical play mm-hmm. una get mm-hmm. so mimi nitaingia pale kwa mail niangalie nani ametumia mziki si nitacheza zile zenye nimetumiwa mm-hmm. you see pia as much as we, see, we are saying tucheze ngoma za Kenya of which me me I love playing Kenyan I love our Kenyan artists most of them only to me mangoma zingine maybe naza download I like researching on new artists but pia tuweke ile effort mm-hmm. you see unajua pia ukitaka ngoma yako isikizwe maybe maybe unaweza pata maybe indio engineer yenye ina controlling e station ama this is the dj who plays at this station who need dj who plays at this station who need producer at this station ivo you see you know but kuna upcoming one asema you guys are the people who are able to push their music right ju kama wewe uko na chance ya kwa hot 96 watu wengi wanakusikiza a lot of kenyans are listening to your show so unapata upcoming akona ngoma ameleta anasema oh hawachezi ngoma zetu but so you can say maybe they should upgrade their music ama what no. ile kenyans anasema jitume ju pia unaona kama vile mimi mimi nilijituma kuwa dj mm-hmm. like hey, tuki, tukianza sasa hivi ku explain ye vizuri pole pole i think we can take even a month mm-hmm. no no actually naweza kupatia challenge we can document kutoka venye mimi kutoka kwa nyumba my journey series let's do a journey series one day okay one day. okay one, day one time kitu kitu yenye you see ndio msee asione maybe unajua kama sasa hii ora mtu anaweza fikiria umekuja just by umekuja tu Mungu akakuweka hapa pa mm-hmm. anza kufanya interview okay mm-hmm. it's it's not easy lazima ujitume pia artist wa Kenya maze lazima lazima tujitume huku huku nje the streets are not easy mm-hmm. you have to push yourself unajua huyu msee anae ndio huyu mtumie usiogope mm-hmm. mtumie juu atacheza muziki and then pia artist wanataka tu like ma DJ wa support yeah mimi mnaambia ma artist even me support me as a DJ because naweza cheza ngoma yako maybe maybe I take a clip unaona i'm not taking a clip to promote mm-hmm. ati nacheza ngoma yako but pia unaweza take maybe an extent pia mimi ni post pia fans waone yenyewe kuna unaona mm-hmm. because i believe in everything it's a two way traffic mm-hmm. you unaweza pata artist kama sasa hii naweza sema naweza cheza artist wa Kenya maybe ni, ni, ni semeni hey, aje eh by the way ngoma ni kali ah let me take a clip unachukua clip artist wa Kenya maybe anaweza kuwa medoze mm-hmm. unaona ah sema ah cha hii kwa sawa sasa hii ni chezo ngome ya naweza sema mtu kama Yemi Alade. Mhm. Ana repost sasa hiyo hiyo. Iko sasa sita ya usiku unaona yeye. Kwa like okay, u anapata ngata maybe ya kwenda hata kwa, kwa ile requests, ile place ya requests pale mm-hmm. kwa messages. Anaangalia 
ana repost because hiyo ni kuchituma venye anaona hiyo huyu msana ni support hata mimi support mm-hmm. it has to be a two way traffic tusisikue ati kuna mvutano kati ya artist wa Kenya ma DJ wa Kenya ah, tunapendana sisi wote mm-hmm. but let's balance the equation venye wao wanataka support yetu pia sisi tunapatia support yao but still mimi nitacheza ngoma zao whether wanipatie support ama zi mi i love kenyan content any day any time Okay. So so artist mesikia mkipostiwa repost repost hiyo yeah. ndio shida yenu wa repost hata si shida yao wajitumi kuna kuna unaweza pata kuna artist mmoja wa Kenya anajituma mwingine hajitumi and expect utaassume unamjua unaona mm-hmm. maybe unaweza pata kama say for example downloading videos from youtube is not easy mm-hmm. you see like right now i have to subscribe like right now i have paid some subscriptions to different websites malimu downloading yongo mm-hmm. mwangu and it's not easy mm-hmm. unaweza pata ina hiyo naweza tumia kitu kama 60 gs mm-hmm. you see to get clean kwa sababu kama kama niko radio mm-hmm. i have to play something that is clean mm-hmm. i have to play the audio quality inafaa kuwa iko fit but ukienda kwa youtube it's uki download youtube ni different mm-hmm. na hii nyingine unaona mm-hmm. so it's it's an effort na put pia huyu artist mwingine nikikwambia nitumie sitaki uniambie niende unitumie link mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. just send me the audio mm-hmm. because ukinitumia audio kutoka kwa producer straight mm-hmm. he, he cost, actually it's always clear, clear. Yeah. Okay. Mm. maybe you can share your social media and out kunyaza pata your mixes maybe are you on boom play youtube wow for me if you search my name vdj miki and i search vdj miki actually just the easiest way enda google andika vdj miki itakuletea kwanza itakuwa youtube ya pili instagram zikuwa zimefuata na hivyo but unaweza ni search instagram twitter facebook snapchat boomplay mmm ingeni gani social media linkedin linkedin pia telegram by the telegram by the at telegram i put as equality telegram okay i'm of missy fan wa telegram sana but i'm going to try it but you can listen after uko vdj miki vdj miki na miki ni ile ya miki mouse yes don't confuse me and the mouse a miki huyo mwingine ndiye mouse huyo ni miki so maybe last shout out someone you want to tell shout out shout out to my family any day any time my family to my fans wenye wote wase wote wenye ni support hata nyinyi shout out to you online um, media um, online eh kwanza online media <laughs> the next big thing ni online media so big shout out to you because it's not easy what you do so thank you kila mse na unasa yume kuja na team yako so big shout out hata huyo mse mwenye yako behind the scenes mwenye atuta muona big shout out to you shout out mm, so big shout out to everybody mse because with everybody na tunakuwa sasa something yeah it was nice having you I really appreciate it. Yeah, for this maybe taking your time ndio kwa mahali sahi but for this exclusive mashukuru sana and people will get to know more about you what I could follow. Yeah. Yeah, for me naweza sema mazee mad love maze, and really why they were say subscribe to Ora. Subscribe to Ora Ora Ora, um, Ora Mudoni. Yes. Eh hiyo jina Mudoni hii iko na iko na lot of respect in me eh. Mm-hmm. So maze, subscribe to Ora Mudoni she's the next big thing. Subscribe. Na msi mki watch, msi watch alafu muende. Ambia beshti yako by the kuja kwa Ramadhoni. A big shout out to you. So guys, that was it for today. And I want to give this video a very big shout out to Vanessa Candy. Happy birthday, it's your birthday month. So anyway, if you want any birthday shout out, if it's your birthday DM me and I'm going to put a shout out at the end of the video. Thank you Tosh, the guy behind the camera today. So until next time, if you want to subscribe, subscribe, support Aura Mathoni. I have new content, new guests every each and every time. So guys, see you till next time. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>